Greetings to you all. Let us know about ecological engineering for pest management. National Institute of Plant Health Management Hyderabad is helping farmers to grow better crop and save food and is also training the master trainers through several training programs like PGDPHM, CPGDPHM and off-campus trainings. The farming community has been practicing monoculture which led to increase in pest population. Thereby, the chemical control practices for controlling these pests are being done which in turn increases cost of cultivation. But in countries like Vietnam, farmers grow various attractive flowering plants around the main crop to develop defender population and to encourage natural control. This resulted in gradual decrease in chemical pest control practices and also estimated yields are achieved. This method is called ecological engineering for pest management. Ecological engineering for pest management can be easily described as planting various attractive flowering plants on the field burns of main crop. In these, mainly plants having flowers of white, yellow and red colors are used. There are three types of plants that can be grown under ecological engineering for pest management. They are trap crops, attractive plants and repellent plants. Example of trap crops are marigold for helicoapa, dolichos for aphids, Caster for tobacco cutworm. Example of repellent plants Mint against cabbage butterfly, Garlic against aphids, Osimum against tomato fruit borer. Some Attractive plants play major role in attracting many species of defenders. They are carrot, sunflower, etc. which attract surfeit fly, redwood bug, ladybird beetles and green lacewing bug. Mustard attract parasitoids like Trichogramma and Precon. Plants like Marigold and Chrysanthemum attract predators like Spiders. Likewise, Cosmos plants attract predators like Praying Mantid. Now, let us know about ecological engineering for pest management in paddy. In order to select plants for ecological engineering for pest management in paddy, we have to be aware of pests of paddy and their corresponding natural enemies which feed on the pests of paddy. There are different types of plants which can be grown around the paddy crop. These plants not only cast away insect pests but also attract natural enemies and play important role in biological control. 
some important such plants are onion sunflower okra marigold buckwheat osimum chrysanthemum sesamum tridax radish and cowpea these selected plants are grown as attractant repellent and trap crops in rows around the paddy crop the main thing the farm has to note is that paddy crop has the ability to regenerate fresh tillers up to 40 days after sowing even after the crop is attacked by the pests under laboratory conditions and field trials paddy has shown regeneration of tillers even after removing 50% of tillers and it is also observed that there is no prominent variation in the yields This concept has been accepted worldwide and is practiced by farmers globally. This is why there is no necessity of chemical control up to 40 days after sowing. But as soon as farmers observe pest incidents, they tend to use chemicals to control them due to lack of awareness among the standard pest and defender population of 2 is to 1. and compensation ability of paddy this leads to increase in mortality of defenders and cost of cultivation is increased to avoid this by practicing ecological engineering for pest management certain pests have to be repelled defender population has to be developed and certain other pests have to be controlled if pest and defender population ratio is not 2 is to 1 defenders like spiders radiwit bugs trichogramma and brecon are to be released artificially into crop ecosystem the field has to be observed regularly and if the pest and defender ratio is more than 2 is to 1 they by spraying of neem based products and botanical pests can be controlled Ecological engineering for pest management can also be practiced in vegetable crops like cabbage. The principle is same as that of paddy in which the pest and defender population ratio has to be maintained at 2 is to 1 then the chemical usage can be reduced and cost of cultivation can be decreased eventually. This will ensure achievement of estimated yields. for further technical assistance and guidance please contact national institute of plant health management rajendranagar hyderabad or log on to www.niphm.gov.in